Greetings everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I'm Simmer Chase. Today's episode number 26 of our speed build. I'm so stoked to show you guys this one. It's got a place of friendly folks, humble folks. Yes, it's South Park. And it's The Sims, two of my favorite franchises. South Park, I'm kind of like a, you know, a secretive friend, follower of ye for years now, but I'm just like, oh, I know what I can do. Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita, fun friends, family, and food. Yes, that's it. So we have everything that you're going to find in the game and the, the show all together in one build. We have the really fancy little town mural. I actually built as a town on the second level. So you can dine in front of a fake facade. <laughs> then you can go downstairs and get your photo taken in front of the jail, just like the show. Or you can go behind bars and get a photo there too. You can also watch the mariachi band playing at the main center stage. Then we have a bar that's the circular type, thankfully, for this from the Star Wars pack. Then we also have a lot of seating arrangements. Yes, including the second floor dining cave. There's a whole cave you can go dine in. I can't wait to show you guys this one yet. So if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe in the links below. And as always, stay proud. Go out and do something magical. And let's go ahead and dive into this build now. Oh, Casa Bonita. I am so excited you guys are tuning in. Thank you guys so much. This one is very near and dear to me. I just really, really, really love The Sims and I love South Park. So I think that it's just a good mix of the two. Casa Bonita is very interesting too because I really wanted to do a Mexican restaurant but there's a lot on the gallery so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity and the perfect idea to kind of just give it something else and really to kind of make it shine you know so there's Bart's cave you'll see in a moment that I create and then there's also the lower level pool now the problem is with the sims is that the ceiling heights are a little tough and tricky so you're gonna see where I kind of went a little more conservative on some of the rocks and things like that in the pool area and with the fountains, that kind of stuff. But there is the dining cave and there's a really fun tiki area that is on the second level. So the dining cave and then the tiki uh, hut. And I actually created the tiki hut from just a bunch of like grass plants basically and like dead, you know, grass plants. Just kind of give it that really realistic vibe and kind of fit within the limits of the Sims. So it's all about Simsifying more than it is like being exactly true to life, but it comes very, very close. So like for instance, in the show, they don't really show the back of it. So I just want to do like a fun little cabana area that has some really fun outdoor seating and a nice little outdoor bar. And then I really wanted to use the newest um, Hispanic Heritage Month content because I just really love the color and the strength of those objects and kind of what they represent. Even if I know they they may be a little controversial at times, but I just really enjoy being able to celebrate color and just like that extremely warm vibe and welcoming feeling, which is what Casa Bonita is. All about funs, friend, family, food, and it's just awesome. So stoked. So right now you're seeing the stage come together where the mariachi band plays. And I really wanted to make sure that we really had a really good cave because I have never really made mazes before in The Sims, but I really wanted to maximize and continue to maximize the first person view because I think it's really neat, especially as more people dabble into VR and augmented reality I, th I think it's really fun to be able to kind of make builds that are aesthetically pleasing and useful in first person mode so you have a lot of content here in the maze 
And so you gotta be careful because some of it might just pop out and snatch ya. Might just grab ya. Might just poke you. And I use Skelly Sims. Yeah, so Skelly Sim is even in this one from Get to Work. We have a lot of rocks from Island Adventure and Star Wars. We have the Star Wars round bar you're gonna see going in a moment. And a whole mess of other things. So right now I'm just kind of getting through all the pieces and different stuff. With this one, this build, I really wanted to make sure too that it just kind of had a lot of usefulness for us. So it's gonna have lockers with the pool. It's gonna have bathrooms, obviously. It's gonna have a nice sized kitchen to be able to accommodate me. Because in the game, when I play, I like using mods. I don't use mods to build at all. I don't do CC, but when I'm playing, on my own, I like to do the full house mod by um, uh, Mexi Sim or Tex yes, Mexi Sim. And so, with that, um, you can really add a lot more patrons, and you can really fill the place and pack it. So there's a lot more busyness to the business. So I definitely highly recommend that mod if you don't own it yet, because it's just so cool to be able to kind of make it feel more like it's occupied you know and busy and so there's like accommodation for everybody there's a lot of different seating options and there's just a lot of variety and things to do and you actually have to go through the maze to get to the pool which is something you might have a fun adventure doing just to get down so you could try and make your sim go swim and then watch them go through the maze and it's really cute and funny. And there's a couple dead ends too. And they might just get you. So be careful about that. Um, especially if it's someone of, like you may not want to play this build necessarily with that sim you've been trying to complete the 10 generation challenge with or the 100 baby challenge because it might just get them. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of bringing in all the decor elements and all the creative kind of pieces and aspects of how I envision and wanted to simsify the maze. So it was still able to go through and, and you didn't run into objects that would block your path, but enough to kind of really spook you because we are um, in that time right now. So tis the season. We have, let's see here, all different kinds of things. Anything that was in a jar um, dead from like Strangerville, for instance, you'll find that here. And you'll, uh, of course, Skelly Sims. There's arrows to kind of guide you a little bit, but they might not always guide you to the exact location. So you gotta keep that in mind as you're walking around. I really, really love all the, the sugar skulls that we've got as well. And so I really just wanted to use those too. So you're gonna find those kind of sprinkled throughout the maze as well. And there's just so many different things here. And so I just wanted to make sure that it just felt as much as possible like the, the game and the show. But then as well, I actually used Casa Bonita to exist in real life in South Park, Colorado, or not South Park, Colorado, in uh, Denver, Colorado. And so I kind of used that as well for the exterior a little bit because I wanted to figure out how much detail was there and really what shade of pink it is, you know, and what shade of, if there's any purple in it. Because in the show and in the game, it's quite purple, it's quite pink. And so in the actual, like, real life, it's more of like a beigey, soft pink. So that color changed a couple times. And I could have probably taken the time to really replicate the exterior design. Like my friend, uh, Too Tall Tina, there on, you can find her on YouTube in the gallery as well. She is phenomenal at making those sort of little, like, extra elements that I just can't. Like, I tried the tool mod. I haven't been able to get it working yet. I hope to someday because it does look really neat to be able to kind of pivot and 360 and use the X, Y, and Z axes to rotate objects because, you know, there are times where, like in this instance, I would have loved to replicate more of the architectural detail and like the trim work and stuff on the building, but I just couldn't get the mod to work. And I'm like, well, 
To me, I feel like it's more important to get the build done than waste any more time trying to figure it out. So I did take a lot of time in cutting content out of this too because there was just a lot of times where I was spinning the camera or I was waiting a minute and pausing and looking at my reference photos at the beginning. And so I took eight and a half hours of gameplay content down to 20 minutes because between my speeding up and then also my cutting of a lot of the pivots and a lot of the stalling time or going through debug. So if you might see like objects just appear and then disappear and that's because I wanted to bring it as close to the game and the reference as possible. And that's kind of the tricky part of doing recreations is, you know, trying to get not only it close, but making sure you have the right scale and that things fit because, you know, we're only allowed so much height and so much width and that kind of thing. And then it's kind of in the block pattern. So you really have to take that into account as well. So I, like I said before, I did go a little more conservative than what I would have preferred in the pool area because like in the game and on the Castle Bonita show um, from South Park, it's like on season seven um, of, this, of the, uh, the, the show, it actually had like this really fun diving area that just had this really tall diving board that was all in rocks, that kind of stuff. And, there's just not really an easy way to replicate that. So I went a little more conservative with that area, but when it comes to all the elements, they're definitely there. And so in a moment, you're gonna kind of see the dining cake come together. The lobby, it doesn't really show the lobby, like where you would go and like uh, check in that kind of stuff very well. It's just kind of a dark, big, wide open expanse of area. And then they walk in and then behind them, there's like, um, just a lot of stuff um, and like banners welcoming you to Casa Bonita. And then on the other side, there's like a mural on the wall um, for, for like the city. And so what I thought about doing is just kind of creating the exterior facade as though it's the mural, but it's actually like the working uh, exterior facade from Get Famous. So I put a few of those together to kind of give you that ability to eat up there on the second floor, look down at everybody and look around, but then also to kind of get that, you know, indoor outdoor vibe inside. So no matter if it's winter or it's spring or whenever, you're going to have a great experience at Casa Bonita, The Sims version. So now I'm bringing together the bathrooms, getting the first floor done. I really should start probably putting in more lighting at the beginning, even if it's just temporary, because this is like a little more cavernous um, of a build on the inside first. And then I forgot to toggle it to um, daytime, like afternoon. So it had more lighting. So there for a moment, um, I kind of left it to where it wasn't. And now of course it, it's been pivoted there. So it's a lot brighter just immediately. And so I do apologize for that. But um, thanks again so much for tuning in and definitely spending your time with me right now. So we have the outdoor cabana area and bar getting together. I just really, really love the pergola that we got. It's phenomenal. And it really goes well with a lot of the other content that they've provided us over the years. So it was just really a fun fit for this. And so now you're seeing the tiki bar come together. And this was just a bunch of the debug plants coming together as one giant roof because you can't really put a roof inside of a roof so and have it really work out properly unless you start adding a lot more layers on the building but then it wouldn't look as uh close to the the game or the show as i wanted it to so now the dining caves come together yes so you can actually go under here and eat and just kind of like socialize in the own little, your own little exclusive dining cave. And I really wanted to make this too because I wanted to bring to light the ability to do grottos, funky pools, and the ability to do a he or she cave, you know? So that's definitely an option and something I really wanted to bring home here. So now I'm bringing together the bathrooms. Again, they're colorful and they're just like what my takeaways are from 
like the American Me Mexican restaurants that we have here, which are just all about kind of sharing the family story. Um, the ones that we frequent here actually have kind of that in public display and viewing and they just kind of are very colorful, very bright, super warm and welcoming, and they always smell so good. So I really wanted to make sure that the kitchen had that pass through window so that like if it were real in real life, you would definitely just smell great, great food and really automatically pick up that welcoming environment. So now I'm just bringing in all of the like little like details, you know, so we have a lot of dishwashers because again, if you kind of pack the house with this one, it could definitely create a lot of dishes and a lot of paint trains. There's like seating for, I think 196 when I'm done with this. So you're definitely gonna be able to, which is more like realistic in real life. So you're definitely gonna wanna try and fill it as close as possible. And this would definitely keep any restaurant owner a busy, 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 busy. So there's kind of our banners and the simplified version. Here's the upper level coming together now and just kind of showing you all the different pieces of that recent content pack that we got, but kind of like hopefully tastefully put together. And then when I got closer to being done with this design, I kind of circled back one more time to look and make sure I had everything. And that's when I was like, oh, I need more lighting. I could do like the cabana lighting or like the party lighting and that kind of stuff. So we have a lot of that coming in now. And then I do have a lot of the other elements that you'll see here, like just different art pieces. And I didn't like, there's really no reason to kind of put this stuff behind the cave because like, you're not going to see anything behind it. So I just kind of gave it that like, like old wood, the sort of like old timey vibe lighting behind it to, that you might put in a cave and kind of just put that behind there. And I just wanted to really create it like more like the outdoor indoor vibe that Casa Bonita has in the show and the movie and the game. And so now I'm coming through and just pulling in like the extra little bits of detail, the lighting, the framed art, the posters, and getting kind of the the pieces that I think are like, you know, really kind of making it feel like natural. And so now we have the really fun fountain, like when they walk in, this would be a cave had I had thought more about it, but there's not really a good way to make like a cave looking or like rock looking fountain here in the game with the content that we have. I mean, it might be, in theory, it might be possible, but if it is, definitely show screenshots or let me know. I would love to watch a video on how to do that kind of content because it, it's really tough to be able to kind of take and, and assemble a lot of debug options into like one piece or one thing. Um, and like, I'm really strong, I think, at trying to figure it out, but there's just so many different debug options and pieces and then being able to rotate a certain way that might just kind of give you that extra to where you could actually do that sort of design, you know, of like a, a rock formation fountain. So what I did is end up just making a really opulent large fountain there in the front and also then in the entry. So now we're doing our final spin around and you guys can kind of see how it is and you're gonna be able to see and go through the maze. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely want to stay tuned for that. So we're going through, here's the maze now, you see it, yep. And then in a second, we're gonna take a dive in it in first person mode. So it's just kind of panning around. I wanted to make sure that you guys could really see the detail, the objects that I used, because it did kind of go quickly in the assembly process. So here we go. You're getting a good walk around inside, kind of just seeing a little bit of what it is and where it's all at. So we've got the bar here. I wanted to make it feel realistic with all the like TV screens and that kind of stuff as well. So here is our, like the entryway area, the bar area, 
and then here's us going in and back out so that you can kind of get the perspective a little bit more and then now we're in the maze so here you go Ooh, i'm so stoked Ooh. 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 see skelly uh spooky so spooky oh my gosh oh my gosh so spooky all these things. Ew, there's the dead jar stuff. Ugh. Ew, and there's lots of urns too because we can't do tombstones, obviously, unless maybe there is a way. But when I've tried, they just turned to urns, of course, because it's indoors. And then watch it. There's the Reaper Gnome. There's the Dead Gnome. And there's so many other not quite friendly gnomes that you're going to maybe run in and run across. So careful on that. Okay, and then there's our dead end. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, if you turn there, you'll be in a dead end. But there's a lot of stuff to look at, so that's kind of cool too. And then we have our sugar skulls and like really creepy, like, uh-oh, dead, dead stuff. All these like really spooky fountains and that kind of stuff on the wall. And then like the pumpkins. And then we have like this like little area here so it looks like you would go there but that's another dead end so then there's like that tight little area to go and then i found this object and i was like oops that's blocking our way a little bit so i did move that over and then uh, we have we're coming around the corner and then we're almost to the end so now you have like the little like area where you can do like art or people can leave their horror messages so there's the end and now we're in down into the pool and just kind of browsing around a little bit in the pool and this is kind of how that turned out and then from there then we shoot back upstairs one more time to give it a one quick swoop around and you're gonna see like the outdoor cabana area and just a lot more of the detail and from the inside and what I kind of created here on that. So now we're kind of coming around to the other side of the restaurant towards the kitchen and then back towards like the fountain and then the cave again where you can see that and then kind of the exterior will kind of zoom back out to that. Oh, and then here is our second floor that has the open area so you can see down the dining cave uh, was up there as well. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful for you guys swinging back by. And as always, stay proud. Go out and do something magical and have a great day. Thank you.